this city to drown the memories of this nightmare, but I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. <laughs> I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. <laughs> there would always be another case for Casey. City. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. My writing was affecting reality. The phone was ringing again. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. You need to go back to the talk show studio basement. Get Alice's photos from a shoebox there. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put the photos into the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I'd follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photo from the talk show building basement. I had to go back to get them. I'd bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue.
Alice's photos were in the talk show basement. I had to bring them to the plaza shoebox in order to enter Parliament Tower. Only then could I finish the story. The door wouldn't open. The door wouldn't budge. The city was not real. I was limited to the confines of the dream.
I couldn't force it open. Alice's photos, I recognize the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza.
I couldn't get in. I was missing something. the photos now. I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue. Nice evening. It's so quiet now. Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. What happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? Well, at least the flooding's gone down. Yeah, but the fish aren't biting any better. Another cult box.
I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case. Before my family gets dragged any further into it. I need bolt cutters.
Another locked box. The cult doesn't see their victims as people.
all of them. There's another cult stash.
the percolator. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. That's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams, I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I 
just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck! I had escaped the dark place, so had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head, stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I gotta get out of here. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. I need to protect myself. A gun and a flashlight. How to style check. That's Casey. He was still alive. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the Dark Presence not discriminate?
The pressure in my head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey, I'm coming! Fuck. with you anything relevant the clicker i can't trust them with it nothing comes to mind okay then your work here is done hey you did well wait my partner agent casey's mia we'll look for he's him. my partner damn it agent I be go home careful moving wait they think he's a para-utilitarian no I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story.
Tor and Odin were in the photo with the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Hello? Taga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, Kilo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're a little... Oh, oh, fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip-flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance Lays the Demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Meet the mayor, huh? Maybe I should swing by Suomi Hall. Just getting the... Oh! Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh... The, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. 
They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or, as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes! Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Torrent Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Torrent Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. That's it. Hello there, Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazi, they won't make the man worse, even the Swedish way. I'm Arti. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard, my pals, the Birkene Vikings. Were you in the band? Minäkö? No, no. Perkele, saatana, en ollut en. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. 
Thanks anyway. Crushing is not good for you, and there is not an order. Man gets ready when he eats, and gets silly when he works. So, I can love it, I know. Rain is coming down like from the eyes of Esther. Vaikka vettä hänen kyllä lupaski, että... Are you uh, planning to go watch the Deerfest parade? Mandy May? And sit in a crowd of noisy drunks all day? I'd rather stick this knitting needle in my ear. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Keep trying. Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything.
Hello, Yakko. Looks like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Yakko, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey. What? What's that sound? Oh. Ilmo, look. It's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? Mm. I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the Old Deer Diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Another one of those lunch boxes. That's a good deer.
You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Mandy May and Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <sighs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. Norman, put some clothes on. What if that towel slipped? No one wants to see your meat basket. Not until I've got more sun. <laughs> Nursing home is old. Very old. I should the interrupt built him. built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call us. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> so, the teens would drink there, do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home, but the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesberg, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and, and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. <laughs> folks say they they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist, I have lived here at the Valhalla nursing home for five years. And in that time, I have never heard Nora's singing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. Need the key. This is Tor's room. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest.
More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? <laughs> He's in no shape to talk. These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the Wellness Center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band, 
and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Right. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere.
Getting in is forbidden, for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand the tanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Poor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That Weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor
Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. Tor was here. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Odin said Tor needs help, but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Think, Saga. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Can't be opened on this side. Tor left the wellness center.
door needs a knob. A security computer. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. <laughs> the computer controls the door that Tor went through.
There's Tor. And he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. And the doors are open. Archie put on a wonderful performance this afternoon. But you're always calling him a crazy fit. I respect the art, Norman.
Dale Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole, an opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard, his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gail was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it, into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale sacrificed to it. In blood. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its lights shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready.
Need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tor's. There's an overlap here. Did Cynthia pull Tor in? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose, 
Um... Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to- the Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. I already took care of all this. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages and funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? 
Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book! Exciting! You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm, guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Anything else I can do to help the hero? It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother, are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye.
Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak.